to the corn cup, which is uh, the husk once you have, have taken out the kernels. So it's pretty much an agricultural waste that it's incinerated in many places of America, including USA and Mexico. And our process is completely natural. So we make a fermentation out of the corn cup, and that's how we produce high little. So how much of the corn agricultural waste uh, do you use in terms of making perhaps one uh, one bottle, 50 milligrams of, um, of xylitol? So our ratio is seven to one. So we need, for example, seven tons of corn cup for doing one ton of xylitol. Oh, wow. And what inspired you to make this product? So the story started when I was 18 years old and I received the news that my dad was diagnosed with diabetes. That's when I noticed that him and all the people that I know with this sickness, uh, they have a really hard time in trying to use the sweeteners that are available on the market because they don't like the taste. So we discovered that Xylitol was the only natural sugar substitute that has exactly the same taste and sugar. Uh, but the reason why it was not popular, it, it was because it was so expensive. So that's when we started creating a new process for making it cheaper and accessible to anyone. So how much cheaper is this to the normal xylitol that you can buy at the moment? So currently we're still doing things on a lab scale, which is expensive. And even though we are in that stage, it's 20% cheaper than when you can find on the market. Now, our prediction is that when we scale up to an industrial scale, it will be 40% cheaper. Now, you said the difference between xylitol and other sweeteners is that there is it tastes exactly the same in its, uh, as sugar, um, and it's more beneficial to you nutritionally. Are there any other difference, uh, differences between xylitol and other sweeteners? Like even stevia. Oh, yeah. Stevia is a natural product as well. Stevia is from a natural origin because it comes from a plant, but the extraction of stevitol is chemical. And with our with our process, we're the only ones that our origin it's not only natural because it comes from an agricultural waste, but because we use a fermentation, we are also the only company that makes a natural sweetener in terms of the process. Uh, well, of course, you have other options like honey or um, milk that is extracted from agave plants here in Mexico. Um, and other other differences are that xylitol is the only sweetener that protects your teeth against cavities, which is really useful for children, for example. And it also promotes people to stop using insulin for metabolizing carbs. Um, there are recent studies that, that have been done in this aspect to show how xylitol actually promotes people to produce more insulin, which is one thing that the other sweeteners don't have. So, so many health benefits, which is quite fascinating considering it's a sweetener or it's a sugar alternative. Have you, has it made much of a difference to your dad? Yes, actually now he stops cheating in his diet. He, he has no need <laughs> because now he has a, the same flavor. And that, that makes a huge difference in pretty much all his, his daily uh, healthy aspects. And it, are you looking at selling this overseas? I know in New Zealand it's not something you can really buy off the supermarket shelf. I order xylitol myself. My husband's a chef, so he uses it for some ingredients, but we do have to order it online. Are you looking at selling yeah. this product overseas? Yes. So our plan, now that we got all the, all the money that we needed from grants, is to scale up. So we're starting to do all the... Uh, all the trials that we need on a pilot plant and then going fully to on the industrial scale and starting exporting to other places as well. And I just want to talk about the fact that your product, you use agricultural waste, as you said in the beginning. So was this about also about creating a sustainable and environmentally f uh, friendly product? It is. It's also about having some social impact. So the farmers that we work with here in Mexico are farmers that live in extreme poverty conditions, which is pretty much 60% of the of the agricultural communities in my country. Uh, and that's why we decided to use agricultural waste also to avoid pollution and have a circular economy uh, business model, but also to pay those farmers for their residues. So in that manner, we can give them uh, an extra income to enhance their economy. Apart from the positive impacts on your dad's diet now, what does he think about your product? He, he's actually my main promoter for, for other people with diabetes. So he's your so biggest he, fan. Exactly. <laughs>